Welcome back to this war of mine, Fading Embers DLC. Last episode, we went to the orphanage and delivered some fuel to them. So that helped them out, but now one of the kids is feeling really sad and lonely and wants a picture book, which I think we have. I think it's been donated to us just a couple days ago, actually. So I'll try to grab that. Let's see what we have to do. Oh, speak with Ruben. Oh, that's not Ruben, that's Saron, isn't it? Did you see that woman who brought us her books? It reminded me again of how important our mission is. People seem to trust you and Milena with their belongings. Oh, yes. When the war started, many people brought their valuable items here. They knew that if there was one person able to keep, her, keep their things safe, it had to be Milena. Okay, so you are very tired and a bit hungry. I'm just going to send them to bed. I guess once we get over there, let's speak with Ruben. What can I have Zaron do? I don't think I need to pick up any more artwork. Oh, Anja won't sprint because they're too tired. Yeah, this is about to collapse. I don't think I can do anything to fix it. But, I don't know, I'll try. See if Zeron is uh, willing to try to collect the artifacts even though the roof's about to collapse where Anja wouldn't. Maybe they're more daring. I couldn't possibly work here. Yeah, and I can't do anything to fix it. Okay, let's get the hell out of there. Do not stay there. So you get up, you go to bed. Ruben, I'm going to use you for a while. Can we make food? Mm. Oh yeah, we actually have lots of raw food. I just need fuel. Which I probably have some wood for, I would imagine. Yeah, I've got 15. Let's change five of those. Let's get Zeron up here to stoke the fire. There we go. Should get nice and toasty. I know we still have a quest to make another heater. Don't know if it's really important, but... Because it seems like this one is able to keep us warm, but I suppose we can make another. I should maybe make another bed, too. Hmm. A workshop would be nice. Metal workshop. Can't I upgrade this workshop on its own as well. I can, and I have the stuff for that, too. Hmm. We can upgrade it further to make electrical improvements. So this doesn't really say exactly what I'm going to be able to make with an improved workshop. I don't know. Like, do I want a metal workshop or an improved workshop? What does each one allow me to make? I would guess the metal workshop maybe probably allows weapon stuff, maybe tools. Which would be nice. How much does a metal workshop cost? It's quite cheap. I still won't have the wood to make this and an upgraded workshop, though. <clears> hmm. <throat> Let's make a metal workshop. Yeah, no need to rush. There you go. <laughs> Let's make some food. Just making two, is that enough? Or should I make more fuel? Let's make some more fuel. Now let's make four things of food. Two batches. Metal workshop's done. What can this thing make? Oh, hell yeah. It can make a weapon, and probably most importantly, it can make a crowbar and a lockpick. That's the big one. Don't I need a lockpick? Isn't there one more locked thing in the basement here? That? Or did I... I think I maybe picked that. Anyway, what does it take? Oh, that is quite cheap. 
That's it? Three components in one part? Oh, hell yeah. If I had a little bit more lumber, I could make a shovel. That'd be nice, although I don't have too many things I need to really dig through at the moment. The crowbar. Pry open a few doors before it breaks. Does the job slowly and loudly. I mean, it sounds like I might as well just use the lockpick, really. It says pry open a few doors. So I think this can be used for multiple doors, but it's loud. This can only be used once, but it's quiet. Yeah, I don't see any reason to go for the crowbar. Let's make a couple of these. Let's make four. Have Ruben eat some food, and then Anja. Then I'll have Zoran do it in a second. Let's also go ahead and make a knife, so at least we have some sort of a weapon. I also want to see if I can grab that picture book for the children at the orphanage. Ooh, we have a lot. Would it be here? I don't see where else it could be, actually. Ah, you can take this item away under the cover of night while going to scavenge. Okay, so it's going to be available to us when we go to scavenge. I don't need to, like, do anything to take it. Okay. I'm not sure whether I'm going to want to take the knife with me when I go places. I guess only if it says there's going to be danger. Otherwise, it's better left here with a person who can actually guard it. Getting Zoran on some herbal meds. They're just slightly sick. Ruben is now just sick, which is actually really good. Gonna give him my one good meds. Don't want them to regress back down again. Yeah, everybody's pretty good. You know, taking care of the tiredness, taking care of the sickness. Hunger isn't a problem right now. Fire stoked. I think we're ready for tonight. Let's end the day. Whoa. Uh-oh. Heavy bombings. Shit. Oh, does that mean I can't go anywhere? Yeah, I can't go anywhere. Damn it. Okay. Um... As far, as far as tiredness, I guess Zoran should sleep. Anja is slightly wounded. I'll have them sleep, just not in bed because I don't have two beds. And Ruben's doing pretty good now. So I'm going to have them guard. We've been raided. How are things? Someone tried to rob us. They didn't seem very determined, so we managed to fend them off. We had some weapons, but not enough for everyone. None of us were wounded, and the attackers didn't steal anything. Whew. Okay. Anja, could you come here for a moment? Listen. The museum was hit again last night. It doesn't change our plans, we just need to speed them up. What do you mean? You promised we'll be safe. I know, and I will keep my promise. But we need to evacuate. This building won't last long. Evacuate? With all these artworks? And where are we supposed to go? I've got a plan, but I'll need your help. We need a truck. I know somebody who owes me a favor. He could help with the truck, but first I have to find him. Are you leaving us? What are we going to do? Just keep preparing the exhibits for evacuation, and try to keep the museum from collapsing. I'll be back soon, just don't lose your faith in what we're doing, please. I don't think we have any more things to collect. have a conversation here. 
Just wanted to say that it's good to see you safe and sound. We lost a friend in the last bombardment. I'm sorry. I heard what happened to your home. The important thing is that you're alright. I'm glad you're here. So how are we doing? Hungry? Just slightly sick? Yes. But also hungry, of course. Uh, slept poorly. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, go back to bed. Need to make more fuel. Let's process some components. Oh, I hope we're going to be okay for now. Is it strong enough for me to take this stuff? Yes. This is the only thing. The Chancellor's Edict. The extinguishing of the last Visenian royal dynasty and the subsequent rule of Chancellor Respendiel, who was of Grozny origin, brought about belated reforms. In an attempt to reunite the slowly disintegrating state, the Chancellor, the Chancellor extended the rights enjoyed by the Pagoran burrs to all towns and cities. Yeah, is there much of a point in repairing this thing if we're just if we got all the artifacts? Like let it collapse, you know. Oh, you know what I missed? There is a huge bombed out part here. Two, three support beams messed up and a bunch of things we need to secure on this upper floor. Okay. Well, that gives me plenty to do. Broken Sword of Wrecker the second. Oh yeah, we saw this before it was something we needed to pick up just as a display. Scepter of Eric the second. Should be able to do a pretty good job with this with two people working at it. Hopefully I won't have to fix any of the braces, because I don't have the stuff to do that. <laughs> Town Charter, Pagoran, Confederation Articles. Alright, Ruben's busy, but we do have some back here that looks like it's behind this. Can I even get past this? I can. Is it safe enough for now? Oh, thank god it is. I thought I'd have to fix it before they let me do anything. St. Pantaleon's statue. That's size 3. Let Wait. Oh, the room's about to collapse. It's too dangerous to secure the exhibits now. Oh, okay. I do have to do this. But the problem is I can't. I need lumber. There's no way for me to get lumber here. Not even breaking down art, which is kind of ironic, breaking down art to save more art. But not even that would work because that gives me fuel, not just raw wood. Can I trade? Those people you can trade with? I forgot if that was here or some other place. Wait a minute, we have more stuff we can loot down here? Hold on. Is that like rubble that's broken loose? Ooh. We're not going to have time to get any of this today, definitely, but... We're at least not going to have time to make anything with it, I think. Ah, uh, just one wood, but a good amount of components. Maybe I should check out here every day. Does it refresh every day or after every bombing or something? There's no time, but do we have the stuff to make another knife? We do. Half an hour? Nah, I don't have half an hour. That's all we can do for today. Yeah, I need to look around my base more. Still heavy bombing? No. But I can't get to the orphanage, so we gotta keep waiting on that. Dang. Well, it's either the construction site, Samuel Institute, neighbor's house, or supermarket. It's got to be the supermarket, right? That has the most stuff. It has a huge amount of weapons. I want that. Give me that. Lots of weapons, some materials. Yeah. Yeah, let's do supermarket. Okay, Anja has to go scavenging. Of course, they have the biggest space. Um, Zeron is looking perfectly healthy, so you're going to guard, and Ruben's going to sleep in bed. Sounds good.
And we have lockpicks. I'll just take all four since they sit in one stack. It doesn't say there's going to be danger here, so I'm going to leave the knife. I'm assuming if there's even a chance of danger, there would be... It would say danger. I would assume. Now, I don't remember if there's actually places in here that need a lockpick, but probably there are. I think every map has lockpickable stuff. It's always something a little bit special, you know? Maybe this was the place that had the weird people that drew a gun on me, but actually just wanted to trade? Yes, it is. Are they still out there? They are. Well, they didn't bring my tradables, so... Eh. I could go speak with them and just see what they have, just out of curiosity. Well, let me pick up loot first, though, and then I can at least use the loot that I pick up to possibly trade with them. If there's anything locked, it's in the basement. Here we go. Bandages, six cigarettes, damn. Fertilizer, uh, stump the shell casings. Dump the electric part. Always gonna take wood. I'm desperate for wood. Do I need sugar? Not really. But that's a pretty good stack of sugar. Seven. Ooh, what's in these barrels? Some wood? Okay, let's make room for more wood. Mm. Weapon parts. Let's dump the weapon parts. More wood, yes. Uh, should I dump the sugar? Let's dump the sugar. I want that raw food too. Dump the components. Man, there's still enough stuff here for another trip, definitely. Let's go see if we can trade with those people, just see what they have. I could trade some of my stuff and come back for more other things. Really wish you didn't just have your gun out, but. All right. Mm. Welcome. If you support the Viceni Liberation Uprising, we can trade. I certainly do. I have food. What would you like? Cigarettes? Cigarette. Very common stuff. Not very interesting. Hmm. Maybe that's better to keep. Nothing special. Oh, herbal meds are interesting. Okay, I wouldn't mind parting with at least one herbal med. Maybe even a bandage? Because I already have a bandage at home. Yeah, would you be willing to give me medicine in exchange for that? Is that what I want? I definitely want fuel. I don't really need lockpicks anymore now that I can make them. Hmm. 
Hmm. Alright, how much do I need to give him for medicine? Two herbal meds, not enough, not surprisingly. Let's do some cigarettes. Oh yeah, two herbal meds and a cigarette? That's totally worth it. Can't carry that much. Um, do you want... I need to get rid of a stack of something. Alright, you know, hold on. How about a bandage? That's not enough for you? That's enough for you. Let's see if I can get something else out of him. Yeah, I could. But I wouldn't have the room for it. Actually, I don't have the room for this. Fuck. <laughs> How about this? Just take all my components and one of these parts for the fuel. Forget the medicine? Or maybe not forget the medicine. Both herbal meds for the medicine. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Ooh, glad I looked there. There's just some raw food sitting in that rubble. Weird. Oh, do I want to free up a spot for more wood? Yes. Yes, I do. I don't think there's any more wood here. I would have taken it, so I think we can just leave. Yeah, let's go. Please don't tell me everybody was safe back here. Come on, I gave you a knife. And you're guarding a whole museum. You can do it. Don't tell me we were raided. Good. Night was calm. Huh. Reuben, did you get worse? Now they're sick and not slightly sick. Damn it. Well, at least we have some medicine, huh? You take some friggin' medicine. You're tired. You're tired and also slightly wounded, so I think I'm gonna have Anja go to bed. Someone's at the door. Who's this? Let's make a deal. Oh, you wanna trade? That's great, I haven't had anybody to trade with for a while. At least at my base where I have all my stuff. I was wondering, do you run this place? No, Melinda's in charge, but she's not here at the moment. Do you want to wait for her? Well, listen, we're trading small talk here. But you might have something that's worth a lot to me. We could make a nice deal. Help each other. Our exhibits are not for sale. All I'm looking for are some old case files. They're worthless to you. But those papers could be very useful to me. What case files are you looking for, and why? Property Takeovers and Extortion, 1972 to 1978. For the information inside those files, I could really help you. Lana won't even consider your offer. But she's not here, is she? Think about it. Okay, considered. Hell no. Would you like to trade in other things? Always good to have bandages. Raw food and even vegetables would be good. Fuel, definitely. Herbal meds would be ideal. In an ideal world, I would get those as well. We'll see if I can afford it, though. Let me sell my things that are just tradables, like jewelry. I 
Okay, we're almost there. What else? Pure alcohol. There we go. Yeah, I don't have any use for that stuff, really. I could drink the alcohol. I guess it would improve our morale, maybe. But bandages and food and fuel are way more important. I'm here if you need anything more. I will not need anything more. You can just go away. Thanks. Pretty chilly here. Oh boy, it is. Let's go make some fuel. I think I've gathered all this stuff up here. I had to gather some more stuff down here. I guess the top collapsed or maybe it was already collapsed. I'm not sure. We have nine wood. Damn, I want to have enough wood to make another freaking bed. And I have that right now, but... I need to make it into fuel. If I... Upgrade this. I'll have two wood left over. Okay, let's do it. I want to see what I can make. Oh man, we really do need to put more fuel in here. There's only two. Uh, hold on, actually. Are there new piles out here? I would already be able to see if they're lootable, right? I don't have to like be here to tell whether they're lootable. us to make an armchair, a guitar, some food stuff, trap for small animals, herbal workshop, nice. I still can't make a garden? Hmm. That takes five wood? Damn. Okay, not the most useful thing right now. Let's turn that into fuel. I'm going to need more fuel than that, though. Oh, right. I've actually bought fuel directly, so I, don't, I actually have some already in storage. Good. I think I have three left over now. Let's make some food. Ruben keeps saying there's someone at the door. I know. I talked with him. Chill. Let's see. You're hungry. You're hungry. And you're hungry. So, everybody should eat. There's nothing more to do here today. Okay, now I can go to the orphanage. Hmm. Zoran is tired, so they'll sleep in bed. Ruben will guard. And Anja will scavenge. Right, so am I going to steal a tale of the Roscoe Brothers collection to bring to the kid? We promise to keep those books safe and hidden, but on the other hand, they can help the orphans deal with their trauma. Hmm. It'd be kind of fucked up to take it, wouldn't it? Ah. They gave it to us for safekeeping. I'm not going to take it. I'm sorry, kid, but I'm not going to take it. Let's bring the lockpicks, and I think that's it. Yeah. We do have things to get at the orphanage, right? I think we actually ran out of time and couldn't loot the full second side. So there should be plenty to get, hopefully, things to lockpick, too. Hello, I'm just bashing my way into your place. I hope you don't mind. Do we have anything new to talk about? Your help means everything to those kids. I'm truly grateful. I'm glad to hear that. Are you doing any better? We're okay for now, but every day I wake up afraid for the fate of those kids. Who knows how long we can go before we run out of supplies. There might be some hope, though. I've heard rumors. What rumors? A man told me about a group of people trying to flee from here. They're using some old mining tunnels that lead outside the city. Do you know where to find those people? To 
be honest, that sounds unbelievable. Allegedly, there's a hideout somewhere near the main railway station. I would check it myself, but I can't leave the kids alone. Don't worry. I might be able to check on it for you. Good lead. I can see you're feeling better, Andreas. Yes, and it wouldn't be possible without your help. I'll soon be ready to go out and help Adam with the supplies again. It seems to me you really care about everyone here. They're my siblings now, and the only family I have left. I'm the oldest one too, so I'm helping as much as I can. Uh, I don't think there's any point in speaking with Lika, because we're just gonna—they're just gonna ask us, "Do you have the book?" And I'm just gonna be like, "Nope, nope, I don't." Okay, there's a thing to lockpick down there. Ooh, two things to lockpick. Exciting. Let's just go get them right now. a mixer and just a whole bunch of stuff wow that's a full load right there man I want wood but there's no wood vegetables I'll take that over parts Forget the sugar. More components. Do I want more components? Nah, I mean, I can turn into fuel, but it takes four to turn into fuel. No. Let's run to exit. I think that's pretty good. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, so there is stuff up here? But how do I get there? From, like, the roof I can fall down, or... Wait a minute, there's a ladder here? Oh, we just missed that entirely. Okay, we're not quite done here. Wood, 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 wood. No wood, but good stuff. Do I want to dump anything for this? Herbal meds definitely would be worth dumping something for... Such as components. Ah, no wood. There might be enough stuff at the orphanage to justify coming back here just for a loot run. We've been raided. Someone tried to rob us. Just a couple of scavengers managed to fend them off. We had some weapons, not enough. None of us are wounded. Tackers didn't steal anything. Okay. Whew. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to continue on day 20.